Welcome back to Ghost Arsenal Podcast. My name is Kossi. Welcome back to a brand new video. This is your latest Arsenal news and transfer news. We're going to be talking about Emil Smith Pro. It's a huge story. Newcastle are interested in signing Emil Smith Pro in January. They are willing to offer as much as twenty-five million pounds for the Englishman. Now, the big question for me with Emil Smith Pro: Does he want to leave Arsenal? And really, will Mikel Arteta give him that big role that we saw, um, you know, in the 2021-2022 campaign? And if he cannot give him that role, should Emil Smith Pro genuinely leave Arsenal? In this video, I'm going to explore all those options. And in my opinion, why I genuinely think Emil Smith Pro will eventually leave Arsenal. I've looked at him, I love him. He's one of the players that I really, I think, are talented. But in the end, I think Emil Smith Pro will leave Arsenal for matters of squad depth and also his career as well. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the podcast as well. There are a few questions to, for, me, for you to answer for me in the comment box below. Number one, genuinely, what should Arsenal do for Emil smith Row? And secondly, what do you think is the best option for Emil smith Row as a player? Is it leaving Arsenal? Is it going out on loan? Is it staying to, to, to fight for his position? Arsenal, what is our best position? What is our best option when it comes to Emil smith Pro? Do we sell him and get the maximum amount of money, money we can get uh, at the moment? Do we keep him um, probably until the summer and then sell him then? Do we loan him out? I, I want your thoughts. I want your general impressions and your genuine feelings and opinions about the situation on ESR. Now, I've put together a couple of questions on this uh, on this topic, and these are the following. Number one, is Emil Smith Pro generally and realistically interested in leaving Arsenal if he doesn't get game time? Number two, is there genuine interest on the market for Emil Smith Pro, including Chelsea and Newcastle? Is the, is this interest that is being reported genuine? And number three. How important is a Smith Pro to this Arsenal setup, especially under Mikel Arteta? Those are the three questions that I put together and I put forward, and I want you to answer uh, to, to answer these questions for yourself um, as well. Do you think he is important? Do you think he's um, as important as Martinelli? When Martinelli picked up an injury, uh, Trossard um, was called on. When Trossard picked up an injury before Martinelli coming back, instead of a Smith Pro playing there. We introduced Gabriel Jesus. So is he still as important? Is he still um, a part of the big plant? And then is there genuine interest um, in this guy? And do you think he will actually leave if we don't give him enough game time? Now, let's start off with the one which is um, actually, uh, which sounds more like a threat. Does he want to leave if he doesn't game get game time? And this is what I'm going to say. Now, I've seen um, a few journalists, including Charles Woods, including the likes of Kaya Kainak, Football in London, are reporting that Emil smith Rowe is 100% concentrated and um, fully um, interested in staying with Arsenal at the moment until further notice. He wants to be um, at the club. He wants to fight for his, for his position and he wants to give the best he can. Now, this is what I'm going to say. Fabrizio Romano puts it very, very well and I, and I love the way Romano puts it. Emil smith Rowe right now is not concerned with um, his situation at the club until January. Interesting. Why Why until January? Because in January, that is when he can get the opportunity to switch clubs. Because in January, that is the um, that is the moment where he can tell the manager, I don't think I'm important to you. I don't think you are. I don't think I'm the guy that, um, you know, is, is, is favorable in your system. Therefore, let me go. Let, therefore, um, I want to go. Again, because in January, that is when he can receive good offers um, and genuine offers. Right now, it's more like a rumor mill. But in January, Chelsea can come. In, Newcastle can come in and all these clubs will, 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 will be saying hey the euros are around the corner how about you give us some time how, how about you give yourself a chance maybe four months maybe five months and we could turn you into an electric player who can even you know um, who can even you know represent England at the euros 2024 now his chances are very small are very very slim but they are not over yet he's a talented player and we know when he's played for England under uh, the under 21s at the World Cup, he was purely electric. So I think there is a genuine threat and there is a genuine um, cause of concern that the player might actually consider his options away from Arsenal, especially given the fact that um, he feels underappreciated. Uh, and that is true. Every player that feels unappreciated, every player that thinks they are not getting the game time they deserve or they are not actually performing at the levels they can, they will leave the club. 
He's not Cedric Soares, who is in his, you know, 30s, and he can stay at Arsenal. He's not Mohamed El Neni, who is in his 30s, uh, and he can stay at Arsenal for another, you know, long period of time, as long as his, you know, uh, as long as his um, uh, contract can permit. Emil Smith Rowe is a young player who is not lack of, who does not lack options, who is not short of, um, uh, you know, uh, suitors as well. And I think there are so many agents, there are so many other outlets out there trying to attract him. So you've got to feel that himself is under pressure. What if it doesn't work at Arsenal and my career actually fails? What if I could turn my career around at Chelsea? What if I could turn my career around um, at Aston Villa? What if I could do this? What if I, what if I could do that? So I think this threat that he can live without get if he doesn't get the game time is actually um, genuine. Now, under that, I've actually looked at a couple of points as well. Number one, does he have a point? He's uh, he's got a point. Because for me, if I'm your if, if I'm one of one of your best players in 2021-2022, and I, I pick up a long-term injury in 2022-2023, in 2023-2024, I am make, I expect and I'll be expecting to get some regular game time because um uh because of the credit in the bank I actually built in the 21-22-20 campaign. I think he's got a point. As a young player, uh, you want to be playing up as part of the young team, right? Uh, the likes of Saka, the likes of, um, uh, you know, Edin Ketia, all these players are ahead of him right now, but we've got to agree. Emil Smith-Rowe, before picking up that long-term injury, he was ahead of them by a mile, but you know, by, by, by a distance, especially uh, Edin Ketia. But Edin Ketia, in this international break, has represented England, and Emil Smith-Rowe has not got the chance, and that shows you that he's got a point. If you cannot play me, Gary Southgate cannot give me a chance. And if he cannot give me a chance because I'm not playing football, then I need to play football. I'm not Harry Maguire. I'm not, um, you know, that complacent. Because with Harry Maguire, he knows he will play for England, whether he's playing for Man United or not. Gary Southgate will actually pick him. The second point here, again, will Emily Smith Row be an important player again? For Arsenal again, that is a hypothetical question that the player has got to ask himself. That's a hypothetical question that uh, will run in the mind of Emil Smith Rowe. It is what happened with Jack Wushire, right? What happened with Jack Wushire, and eventually he regressed it, right? But it reached a time where he felt he wasn't going to become a, a, as important anymore at Arsenal. And he said, I told his agent, I want to leave. I want to go. Find me another club. So with Emil Smith, he's going to ask that question. Am I really going to be an important player as Odegaard, Vieira, uh, Kai Havers, even if even Kai is ahead of me, even if Kai is not playing well? So am I really going to be important? Again, that's a big question. And then does he need, game, uh, does he need more game time? In my opinion, he does. I mean, he will be looking at the Euros 2024 and he'll be saying, if I don't play at the Euros at the upcoming Euros, how well do I prepare for the next big tournament, which is actually the World Cup? You, you cannot prepare for the World Cup. You cannot prepare for the Euros on the bench. You cannot prepare for the Euros or the World Cup, yet you're not even coming off the bench, right? He could be a super substitute. We, could see, we, we have seen him as a super substitution, but he's not even coming off the bench. It is Trossard, Vieira, and Tomiyasu coming off the bench. The manager clearly does not fancy him at the moment. I mean, that could change in the next game. That could change after this international break. But as I, as, 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 as per time of recording, Emil Smith-Rowe is actually down, really down the pecking order. So you think about the Euros, he will be looking at Edin Ketia. He'll be looking at uh, Saka. All these players have been guaranteed an option of being called. They've been guaranteed um, uh, that option that they will be called for the Euros. And he doesn't have that. So you'll be thinking about that as well. Uh, the next question, is there genuine interest um, in Emil smith Pro? Never in doubt. Never in doubt. Be, Emil smith Pro has attracted interest right from the time he, uh, he picked up that shot number 10. He has always been um, a player surrounded with interest. We know Aston Villa are big fans. We know Chelsea are big fans. And we know Newcastle are big uh, are big fans. And Newcastle are preparing a 25 million euro deal for Emil smith Rowe. So the price might not be enough. And I've actually talked about it here, right, when I was scripting for this video. I, I don't think the price is enough. I don't think that is how much you go and say, we are paying 25 million for a, a talent like Emil smith Rowe. It should be above that. If you if if Chelsea paid uh, about 40 million euros 
for Cole Palmer, I think Emma smith Rush should be above 40 million euros, in my opinion. That's a humble opinion. Do we sell drivers? Should we sell drivers? Um, uh, and I think the big question in the first place, should we sell? In my opinion, it depends on the manager. If Mikel genuinely has the best interests of Emil smith Rush at heart, and he's, he knows he's part of his agenda, and he knows that he's going to play football, then well and good. He's got to, he can, he can keep him. But if he knows that the system he wants to play, Emil smith Rowe has no position. Emil smith Rowe has no role. Because for me, the Odegaard role is a fake one. He's not good in that role. I don't know, many of you um, are quite very, very uh, excited. You want to see him as a 10. You want to see, I don't think he's a 10. I don't think he loves to play as a 10. And I don't think, um, you know, he's uh, that traditional. I don't think he's got that eye to, uh, you know, to, to, to pick up runs and make key passes. I think his game is about picking up runs. Uh, not really picking up runs, but making runs and receiving key passes and scoring goals. That is what he wants to do, right? And that's why he tilts his game towards the left-hand side. He's a more of a dribbler rather than a passer of the ball. He's not Favieira. He's not Martin Odegaard. So if uh, Mikel feels out wide... I want sharp wingers. Saka, Martinelli, Trossard. I don't think that's Emil Smith Rowe. Inside, I want um, physical physicality in our uh, uh, in 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 Kai Havers, and I want um, Martin Odegaard to be uh, you know that shining bright you know uh, you know armor. Again, it is not Emil Smith Rowe. Then you you cannot play him as a defender. You cannot play him as a striker. You've got to let him go. Th that is my humble opinion. Do we sell drivers? In my opinion, no. We shouldn't sell Emil Smith Rowe drivers. Again, Emil Smith Rowe, just like Florian Balligan, those are players you've got to either keep or sell away from the Premier League. Like, I wouldn't really want Emil to go to Brighton or Aston Villa. I kind of feel like he's better than that. I kind of feel like he's um. If if a club like uh, Arab Leipzig could take him, develop him for two more years or three, then he comes back to a club like Liverpool, it will be disastrous, purely disastrous. So I would want him to go to a club like Bayern, where I know he can be there for uh, like five, six years. I, I, I mean, that's what I would want, honestly. I don't want us to sell drivers. Like, I wouldn't really want us to sell drivers. It's, um, it's scary, in my opinion. It's very, very scary. The, the thought of Emil smith Rowe playing for Newcastle, together with Bruno Guimaraes and Sandra Tonali, that is scary. That is scary. So um, then we, 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 let's talk about the importance of this guy and why he's actually down the drain. Why uh, he's no longer one of the favorite players at Arsenal, especially under Mikel Arteta. So I think the, 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 the number one question is, is he better than Kai, Trossard, Martinelli, Rhys Nelson? Is he better? Well, I think he's better than many of them. I, I think he's better than many of them. But... The current system we are playing of inverted wingers, I don't think he can displace Mitnelli, and I don't think he can displace Bukayo Saka as well. He cannot even be, uh, you know, he cannot be e even be an option to those players when they are not available or around. So what we have seen with Mikel Arteta is very easy. When you are part of the system, and you can actually play part of the system, he will play you, and he will give you the game time you deserve. But if you're not, you will actually see it. So what I've seen with Mikel is he would prefer Kai and Vieira over Emil smith in the left number eight. He would prefer Trossard and Martinelli and Rhys Nelson on the left-hand side. And he prefers Saka, 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 Jesus over, uh, over Emil smith again. Again, what we have seen here is that we have, we have had a moment where Trossard and Martinelli are injured. And he has played neither of Nelson or Emil Smith Pro. What does that tell you? Um, what tell what that tells you is that he doesn't trust these players. What that tells you is that he doesn't see these players as part, um, as 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 a concrete part of what he wants to do. As manager, you cannot blame him because he has tested out a couple of things and they've worked. And you know, I think that's it. So, is he needed? Is he needed? Not at the moment. I don't think the player feels he's needed. I think the player feels he's needed not. And that's the problem. If a player feels he's needed not, then where do you go from there? Why, where do you go from that point? 
I think where you go from there is you've got to talk to the player and you've got to listen to him. If he says, listen, I want to go, just like Florian Balogun, right? Uh, he will go. And with the, with the example and trail of Florian Balogun, I still think Emma smith will eventually uh, leave Arsenal. Because if we look at Flora and go, Florian has gone and actually done it. I can go and do it somewhere else. I still love Arsenal. I'll be an Arsenal fan, but I can go and do it somewhere else and, you know, be successful as well and stay as an Arsenal fan. Talk to me in the comment box below.